the good food. Let's get started with Vallejo Pyramid. We're are attempting to loosen the skin on the chicken. We need to loosen around the breast and as deep as we can all around. I'll do the legs and the thighs. Okay, I'm going to take the center of my string. How long is your string? Four and a half foot. I'm going to put it up here underneath the legs. And we're going to crisscross it. Then we're going to go under one leg here, under the other leg there. Then we're going to crisscross again. Now we're going to flip the bird. Okay, now we need to turn the bird over. We're going to crisscross and go underneath the wings. We're going to crisscross again. Then we're going to flip it over, over top of the wings. I'm going to tie it across the breast. And try to make it rather snug if you can. And you want at least four times the size, the length of your you want your string at least four times the length of your bird. Do five times just for protection, just in case. Trust bird. Okay, to the pot, I've got one tablespoon of melted butter. The heat I have turned off. To that, I'm adding eight leeks, washed clean, see. eight carrots, washed and scrubbed. I didn't tell her, because that's not necessary. We have our oven set at 425. You're going to brown all sides. So when one side is brown, keep checking it. Every oven's different. Turn it to its side. Turn it to its back. Turn it to its other side. Leaving it on one side. So now that our chicken is brown on all sides, we're going to reduce our oven to 325. And to our pan, we're going to add two cups of white wine. Now, by the way, we had to move it into this pan over here. It has lower sides because it was taking too long to brown. So I, I would recommend that you start out in a... Um, a pan that has and that with a low profile. So to the two cups of white wine, I'm going to add it. Uh, the recipe calls for six cups of chicken broth. I'm using a store bought bone broth. This is four cups a quart. So we'll put that in first. They said six cups are until
The recipe calls for six cups of chicken broth or until your chicken stock comes halfway up your chicken. So I've already put in four cups and I'm going to put it in until it depends that's on how, what size pan, but that's halfway. Put the rest of it in. It took two quarts for me to bring my liquid to half halfway. So it also states in the recipe to put in a half teaspoon of peppercorn. Now one thing it said in the recipe was to put in a half teaspoon of salt. There's been no other salt stated in this recipe and I think the reason is is because the chicken broth is uh, salty. It, I mean it's got to be the reason. It doesn't state it but we're going to add a tablespoon which is three teaspoons into just into the And there's the third one. So now we're going to bring it to a boil. The recipe says you need to cover your chicken tightly and put it in the oven um, for one and a half hours. However, times have changed. 160 Fahrenheit or um, 71 Celsius and I'm going to bring it to the boil. I'm going to cover it. I'm covering this with aluminum foil and I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay, so I'm now I'm going to start my sauce. My chicken only took about 40 minutes to reach 160. So you're going to want to really keep a close eye on your bird. Um, ours is about four and a half to five pounds. I think it was about a five pound uh, chicken. So if you have a five pound chicken, two, we cooked it a little longer than what we should have uh, in the browning process because I remember I told you we had the highest, we put cooked it in this pot when we should have cooked it in this pan here. So in my pan right now for the sauce, I have one fourth cup of butter. To that I'm going to add a half a half a cup, a fourth of a cup of butter, one fourth cup of butter and a half a cup of all-purpose flour. So I'm going to be stirring it until it is combined, if it will combine. Whoops! You want to, you want this is going to take a couple of minutes or a few minutes, is what the recipe says. It's all combined. I know it's lumpy and bumpy, but I think it's going to be fine. I need to take the lid off my chicken. So, what I need. I'm going to gradually add, according to the recipe, I'm going to gradually add, come on, get out of the leak there. I'm going to gradually add three cups of the chicken stock from your braised chicken. So right now I'm going to put in two cups and you add it a little bit along and along. Well, with some of the vegetables.
looks horrible right now, but it will come together, I promise. And what doesn't, I will be straining out. <laughs> I have any lumps. Probably should have got a metal pan for this. Let me turn it down. smells so good. I've never had truffles until this recipe. I'm gonna put that in there. I need another cup. Now, me just doing this, I wouldn't have put this much flour in here. I have no idea what's beeping. <laughs> I got something beeping over here. My um, thermometer, I cut one part off, turned one part off, powered down, and forgot to do the other one. Now it says to cook and stir until it's smooth, and it is coming out, all this extra flour. These lumps are coming out. I don't know if they'll all come out. But what it says is you take a small onion, this one is the smallest one we have, and you stick it with three cloves. Three cloves, whole cloves, which I've done. You put that in there. And you put a carrot in. I don't have much carrots. I used them all in the on, in the pot. So, and this is supposed to cook like this. But see, that isn't even. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat. I should have used a smaller pot I, pan, I suppose. Whatever, I'm cheating. 
because I just don't think I'm going to get them. Look how thick it's gotten. I'm going to turn this all the way to low. It says it needs to cook an hour, people. An hour. So I turned it way down. An hour. And we're going to set the timer. I'm going to check it every 15 minutes. And the recipe says to let it cook for an hour. So I'll let you see what's going on. All right, this is after 15 minutes. Not much change, so we will continue to cook. Turning it up just a little bit. All right, now the next stage. And I know what the problem was. The recipe said to use <clears throat> a half a cup of flour. It should have said a fourth cup and I wouldn't have had the problems that I had. It got so thick I had to add some, I had to add some more liquid from the chicken. So anyway, so you're supposed to do three egg yolks. You use three egg yolks and you beat them with some hot sauce. And then you start adding them slowly. We don't want them to scramble. Beating vigorously. And if my husband walks in, he's home from work, and you start hearing my dog yapping because daddy's home, I'm sorry. <laughs> now you just feed it. Here it comes, he's coming in the room. And there goes Teddy. cooking the eggs. Although I'm sure it cooked. I'm going to turn the stove off. Look, it's smooth, smooth, smooth. And it says to add a tiny bit. That's about, well that's a teaspoon. So I went ahead and that doesn't say how much. I added a teaspoon of lemon and you work that in. Not sure about that lemon, I'll tell you. So let me see. Mm. Could have done without the lemon. I think you should skip the lemon. Anyway, it's ready and we'll you'll see it with the taste test and the plating up. Very earthy, very rich sauce. The chicken's good. I think everything's good. I need to try carrot too. A little bit of leek. Oh, I'd say bye. It's all good. Like and subscribe, please.